Καλησπέρα σα. Σήμερα μαζευτήκαμε εδώ για να ενώσουμε αυτόν τον άντρα και αυτή τη γυναίκα με τα ιερά δεσμά του γάμου. Να είμαστε μάρτυρε για τη δέσμευση των ενό με τον άλλον, ευχόμενοι να είναι ενωμένε οι ζωέ του μία για πάντα. Good afternoon. We are gathered today to unite Michael and Chloe in the bond of matrimony. Κύριε Μάικλ, δέχεσαι για νόμιμη σύζυγό στην κυρία Κλόι όπω ορίζουν νόμοι του κράτου. Μάικλ, do you accept Chloe as your legal wedded wife? Yes. I do. <laughs> 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 κυρία Κλόι, δέχεσαι για νόμιμη σύζυγό στον κύριο Μάικλ όπω ορίζουν νόμοι του κράτου. Chloe, do you accept Michael as your legal wedded husband? I do. Τα δαχτυλίδια παρακαλώ. The rings please. Thank you, Val. Thank you, Val. Okay. Michael, take Chloe's ring. Michael. Place the ring on Chloe's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed as a token of our everlasting love. Chloe, take the ring. Chloe, place the ring on Michael's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, With this ring I thee wed. I thee As a token of our everlasting love. As a token of our everlasting love. Now your vows, please. <laughs> Michael, I promise to love you unconditionally and without hesitation. I will respect you as a person, a partner, and an equal. I vow not to just grow old with you, but to grow with you. To create and support a family with you in a household filled with laughter, patience, understanding and love. I promise above all else to live in truth with you. I believe in you, the person you have grown to be and the couple we will be together. With my whole heart, I take you as my husband, acknowledging and accepting your faults and strengths as you do mine. I promise to be faithful and supportive and always to make our family's love and happiness my priority. I will dream with you, celebrate with you and walk beside you through whatever our lives may bring us. You are my love of my life. I give you my hand and my heart as a sanctuary of warmth and peace and pledge my love, devotion, faith and honour as I join my life with yours. You are my soulmate, my best friend and my true love. There's nothing in this world that will ever take that away from us. I love you, I promise you this, for the rest of my life. I promise to be here for you. I promise to be here for you, for a thick and thin, to always support you for what life will throw at us. You have made all my dreams come true, standing here today with a love I uh, never thought existed. You completely made me the happiest man in life. I promise to love, respect and trust you and give you the best of myself. For I know that together we will build a life for the better than either of us could imagine alone. Chloe, I take you to be my wife. I will love you unconditionally and without hesitation for it's your heart that moves me your spirit that inspires me and your humour that delights me and your hand I want to hold for the rest of our days. Από τη στιγμή αυτή που ενωθήκατε με την ελεύθερη συνένεσή σας σε γάμο, οφείλετε αμοιβαίο ένα στον άλλον, αγάπη, πίστη και σεβασμό για όλη τη ζωή. Your own free will in matrimony. You were obliged to love, trust and respect one another for the rest of your lives, no matter what the future holds. Ο γάμο που σα ενώνει σα επιβάλλει την ταύτιση των τυχών σα και την κοινή αντιμετώπιση σε βάση ισότητα όλων των ζητημάτων που θα προκύπτουν από τη συμβίωσή σα σαν συζύγων και γενικότερα όλων των δυσκολίων τη ζωή. The marriage that unites you also imposes upon you to confront your future together on an equal basis on all issues that may arise when you are living together as a married couple and generally for all the problems that life may present to you. 
Από κοινού θα πρέπει επίση να συμβάλλεται ο καθένα ανάλογα με τι δυνάμει του στα βάρη που συνεπάγονται η έγκαμη συμβίωση και η συντήρηση και η προαγωγή τη οικογένεια που θα δημιουργήσετε. Each of you must help financially to the best of your ability with all the expenses that may occur as a family. Κοινό είναι τέλο και το καθήκον και το δικαίωμα και των δυο σα να μεριμνάτε για την ανατροφή και τη διαπαιδαγώγηση των παιδιών σα ώστε να γίνουν χρήσιμοι πολίτε και ελεύθερε προσωπικότητε. It is your duty and right for both of you to take care of the raising and education of any children you may have so that they will become confident, independent and honest citizens. Από τώρα και στο εξή είσαστε σύζυγοι. Συγχαρητήρια να ζήσετε. You are now joined together as husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride.
found a love for me Darling, just dive right in Follow my lead I found a girl Beautiful and sweet I never knew you were the someone waiting for me Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give you up this time but Darling, just kiss me slow Your heart is over say thank you to Denise and her mother who made all of this happen and a big thank you to Denise over the last two years when you've been a lot of my son. You've always been there. Thank you. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you're a lucky man. <laughs> Usually when you do a speech it's a job to think of things to say. But with Michael there's a load of work with I've got enough stories to make a book, let alone a speech. But I'll keep it short. Michael was born a month early and very nearly in the back of my car and he's been keeping me and Marion on our toes ever since. I think you would all agree though that one of Michael's plus boys is his ability to get on well with everybody he meets. Everyone likes Michael, unless they're playing rugby against him. Just ask Franklin's number eight. As I said, Michael gets on well with almost everybody he meets. Marion used to use a line from Fools and Horses and call him Kenwood because he's a good mixer. 
I remember when he was very young, we went on holiday to Cornwall, and we were staying at a caravan park, and we were in the bar one night, and we were all sitting there watching the entertainment, and all of a sudden I heard Michael's voice over the speakers, turned round, he's on stage. The, the band had asked people to stand up, all the kids, and introduce themselves. He was straight in the front of the queue, like always, and he still does it nowadays, whether it be karaoke, you've got to get him to stand up and sing Bad Manners, or dancing, usually belly dancing. There isn't going to be a chance tonight. Molly, Molly, Molly. I need my glasses now, hold on. <laughs> When he was about six or seven, Michael suffered from quite a bad problem with his legs and hip joints. And we used to have regular appointments at the physio at Upton Hospital to strengthen his joints. I was always worried that it would be a problem through his life. So I was relieved when after a few months he started playing Sunday football. But it was a couple of years later that when he joined Sale Rugby Club that I realised his joints weren't a problem anymore. It was only the pain he was playing against that had problems with their joints. Honestly, his tackles. <laughs> In his first season at Slough, he won the Manager's Player of the Year. Michael and I felt part of Slough Rugby Club from the moment we went there and made some good friends, two of whom have flown over today for the wedding. The club was one, like, one big happy family. The boys stuck together no matter what. Slough Rugby Club brought out the best in Michael and his confidence grew and grew. What Michael and I used to look forward to was the Rugby Club tours. I remember one to Limerick in Ireland. We got there late on Friday night and just took all the bags to the rooms and did what all good rugby players do, headed for the bar. As we got there, I realised I'd left my wallet in the room. So I went to get it, said to Michael, get a drink. When I got back, Michael got a drink for the whole of the rugby team. <laughs> That's Michael, always generous, especially with my wallet. <laughs> One thing that has amazed me with Michael is he's such a good cook. I don't know where he got it from, because in our house we know we're marrying us dinner ready because yes, smoke right. alarm sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Michael and Chloe met at the rugby club. He was playing and she was on the touchline watching his tackle. No, sorry, watching him tackle. <laughs> no, in those shorts I was right at her side. Ever since I first met Chloe, I knew she was right for Michael, and over the last few years I've realised I could not ask for a better daughter in law. And I feel proud and privileged to welcome you to my family. As you know, it's been over a year now since Chloe and Michael moved in together. Chloe has turned that flat into a real lovely home and is so house proud. And that is not easy with Michael about. <laughs> Michael, you're very lucky to have someone like that who clearly loves you. And I know Chloe does, and I know you love her the same. Me and your mum have been together for 36 years now, and married for 29 of them, and I still feel the same for, work for Marion that I did then. I truly hope that the pair of you still feel like that in 29 years. I'm sure you will, because I honestly think you are the perfect match for each other. So I'm going to end my speech. I would like to do a toast to my super son, a wonderful daughter-in-law, Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. Okay. So, um, as mum, I've never done a speech before, but I'm not too shy of talking. So, um, thank you very, very much for coming today. Really appreciate it. I'm going to try and hold it together, okay? I'm a bit of a blubberer. Um, Honestly, you have no idea how much it all means to, to all of us, to be honest with you. Um, we really appreciate it. Here I go. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, thank you for joining us on this special occasion. Uh, I just want to talk about Chloe a little bit. Hopefully you give me a laugh. Um, when I was pregnant, it was the happiest time of my life. Um, I wanted six children, but I couldn't find a man. So I ended up with one beautiful daughter. Don't start. <laughs> it was her and me for 10 months um, until she started, um, and I was with her until she started school. I couldn't leave her. Um, all my friends laughed because I was a nightclubber, because I'm a dancer. I love dancing, as you all know. Uh, and I'd go out with all my mates, clubbing it, dancing it, not socialising, just dance all night and go home. Um, so they couldn't really see me with 
fight, to be honest. Um, but you couldn't have met a more maternal person than myself, I couldn't leave her. Um, we were on our own from, from 10 months old, and it was a challenge. Um, so I had to find something to do to keep us going. I did. How I don't know, but I did. Um, I was well blessed. Chloe was a naturist for quite some time. <laughs> she won't know what that is. Um, she didn't like clothes. She, she just liked to be a free spirit running around. I couldn't bring the video because that would have definitely been me alone. Um, we were only um, out, so we went out socialising all the time. I wasn't the time for mother to actually bake a cake, but in fact, I've never baked a cake in my life. Um, we were out all the time, sports, socialising, ice skating, don't even go there because I broke my leg. Um, so, Chloe then went into gymnastics, ballet, tap, amateur dramatics. She could swim and dive at the age of four, because we were all strong swimmers. Um, I got fed up waiting around at all these places, you know, two, three hours at a time, so I decided to join in an adult class. So, yeah, I did my tap, I can tap. Um, and gymnastics, I did gymnastics, not then, that was years ago. Uh, and I joined amateur dramatics, which was fun, but I've got a memory like a sieve, so I remember forgetting my lines and asking the guy, what's my next line? Um, and then when I went for the, um, when they gave us our roles, they gave me the woman of the night. I had no idea why. Do you all know what the woman of the night is? That's the Jew! <laughs> it's a prosy! <laughs> so, that, that, that was the first and last time I've ever done any acting. So we, um, Chloe grew up and dabbled in hairdressing and hospitality industry until she settled in administration in the area, which is the company I used to work for. What wonderful time we had together and still do. <laughs> this is the second proudest moment after having her as a baby uh, in, my, in, in my life where my beautiful Gobby get rid of that. Don't know where she gets it from. Uh, is now a gobbit, sorry, I mean a beautiful, confident woman. It was a sad day when she left home, which actually wasn't that long ago, um, but I was very happy that I could wear all my clothes and find them, because half the time I couldn't find my clothes. Uh, thank goodness we didn't have the same size feet, so my shoes were safe. <laughs> I would like to welcome Michael and his family into, into our family. Um, we're, we're truly um, pleased with the choice that she's made. Uh, and we're really, really, really happy to have you as part of One Big Family. And we thank you for everything that you've done as well. You couldn't get two different types of people, Chloe and Michael. But as you say, opposites attract. Watch this space. Thank you, Michael, for taking care of my daughter, and thank goodness, Chloe. Actually, do you know what? I'm not going to read that, because I read this to my friend, and he said, no, nah, don't read that. Read it! No, no, it's, it's going to be funny, but he reckons it's not good, so I'm not going to read that. I didn't cross it off. <laughs> right, so that's, that's all I've got to say, but I, I wrote a poem, so no laughing, all right? So this is my poem. Today my daughter's wedding day, and a wonderful thing it is, to see her so excited, so happy to be his. But once she was my baby girl, my only born, love of my life, but now she's a woman and just become his wife. Once she loved her toys, loved her mummy and her dolls, <laughs> I'll tell you about that later. But then I couldn't stop it, she grew up and loved the boys. Today is my daughter's wedding day, how fast the time did go, from little feet and Sesame Street, to a wedding gown it flowed. From golden locks and lollipops, she grew up straight and tall, from baby things to a wedding ring, how I loved her through it all. And now she will go forward to enter married life, 
to share the good and bad times, the happiness and the strife. I wish them both the best of luck with a prayer that my eyes will see that God will bless them with a baby girl, just like he gave me. Thank everyone who's coming out here to come to Mike and Chloe's wedding, first of all. So thank you to all you lot that cut that uh, come here tonight. Well, uh, the last week. Um, Chloe, you look beautiful tonight. Thank you. Mike, two better days, mate. <laughs> um, yeah. So Mike, what I can't believe you're the first first boy out of us lot to get married. This this one. Back in like, I don't know when, he, 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 he was one of them kids that used to sit in, the, sit in his room playing PlayStation games all night. Just, how many games do you have? Under one. Under one, <laughs> 300. That's, um, but he is, he, he's, he's my best mate, and he has, he has been for, uh, for a good few years. And uh, you're, you're a lucky man. You're punching. You're a lucky man. <laughs> um, I got. I, I wasn't going to say it, but I got uh, a few good stories to tell, especially to your parents as well. To tell, tell them how you really are on a night out. Well, one of them is uh, we we stayed in uh, Zanti. We were there for ten days, and uh, it was one night. I think we was on a boat party. Went back to a club called Waikiki. And then, uh, so obviously when they play games, all of us lot, easiest person to target is Mike. Push him straight to the front, he gets picked to do the game. Right, so the game is, you've got to start on the stage, do about ten, uh, five star dumps, jump down, the roly party, five star dumps, then you have to drink a drink out of a cup. But the cup had someone's sock on the top of it from the audience. Yeah. So he's done that. Obviously, Mike's physique, the way he is, he's lost the game. <laughs> so he's uh, lost the game, and uh, next thing he's doing, he's had to do a forfeit. So he's had to strip down butt naked in this club, butt naked, between his legs, and walk through the whole club in front of everyone. And that, he thought that was it, but he didn't. He had to do star jumps. <laughs> <laughs> but he's the only person that I know in this group that will do that with pride. <laughs> Another story, uh, one of the best weekends I've had was uh, for his stag. And uh, on the Friday we got there, uh, we went up there by the train, booked by Phil, Big Pete. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, he put the train up there and that, so uh, that sort of sat, had a bit of drink up there. Got there, went back to the room, um, and we all got prepared to go out. Went to the bar, and uh, we were waiting for, what are they called? Bar Beauties. Alright, right, right, one, one of them was a bar beauty, the other one was a porn star. <laughs> The worst, the worst thing is when we found out my brother and my cousin wouldn't leave her alone. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> yeah. your son's up dog on eat. Alright, moving on to the Saturday. We had a good day. We had it at uh, we went to the Power League in Manchester. We was playing a bit of bubble football, that was, that was a good game. And then after that, it was Mike's, Mike's turn, he had to play a little bit of red ass. There was about 15 of us booting the ball, he was bent over with his trousers down in the goal, we had to boot a ball in his ass. We were loving it, and the next thing they've been told is best man's turn. 
Then we've done our I got tortured. But so I went back to the hotel, had a shower, well, not had a shower, me and uh, Iggy went back to the room, next him. <laughs> Me and Iggy have looked at each other, walked in a room, Mike's in a shower, like this. <laughs> so we're, we're me and Iggy in stitches, he, st he stood up, his shoulders about out here. Okay. So then we've called an ambulance, he's dislocated his shoulder, um, we've called an ambulance, we're waiting over an hour for the, for the ambulance. Uh, finally turned up, we had a table book for the Champions League final. All the other boys went out. I stayed with Mike. Hey, um, <laughs> no, yeah, so I stayed with Mike. Um, doctor was there, chatting all the rubbish like they do. <laughs> um, and then Mike's, Mike's sitting down, stood up, shoulders popped in. First thing I've seen is Mike go, yes! Like that. Doctor's gone, way! Like this. Thought he's going to get beaten up. And then Mike's gone, we're going out! <laughs> so then we've both got ready. He's dressed up in his tutu. We've gone out. And then we've had a brilliant night as well. So, that weekend was the best. And I couldn't have done it better with anyone else. So, cheers. Uh, I want to say a few thank yous to uh, everyone that's put in a bit uh, for this wedding. Uh, I want to say thank you to my girlfriend Gemma for organising the hen. I want to say thank you to Hayley and all the girls who've done all the makeup today, made all the girls look beautiful. say thank you to the parents for what they've done for Chloe and Mike, what they've put in for them, just being there for support everything. <laughs> and thank Cliff for mine and Mike's outfits. Okay. Be amazing, <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, we should have had blue and white. <laughs> should have been blue and white. <laughs> I want to say thank you to Mike's mum and dad for creating such a beautiful man. <laughs> uh, and last of all, I want to thank Mike and Chloe uh, for having me as their best man. Uh, it's been a privilege and I hope everyone enjoys the night. I've got uh, one last thing for Mike. It's a little present. You don't know about. So I open op it. just open it and uh, read it out. Yeah, just just tell everyone what it is. I know you're a massive Arsenal fan and all that, so I've got you a couple of tickets to see who, Michael. Tottenham against AFC boys. <laughs> Fuck it off work, yeah, mate. <laughs> right. Where do I start? One Saturday afternoon at Slab Rugby Club, a normal Saturday of rugby, during the game I was getting these cheeky smiles from one lady on the side. So I decided to bend over, like you do. After the game, She's seen me head into the shower. It must have been a nice sight. So I thought nothing of it, gone in the bar for a beer. Well, who's his phone number? Someone's phone with me. Who's Chloe? Should I come and see you? I'm at home. Okay, I'll come see you at your house. Four hours later, we drive around slamming in her car. First time I met her. Next week, we're end back at Slow Rugby Club, and the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> Three years later, I'm standing here today. With the love of my life, I couldn't ask for anyone better than you. You've been here through the good times and a lot of bad as well, and you've stuck by me. 
Also, a big thank you to Chloe's mum and Nan. If it weren't for you, this wouldn't have happened today. Also, a massive thank you to my family, because you've been here for everything. All, all, like, all the good and bad again. Also, to the boys. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been here as well. <laughs> I'm still the only one I expect. Thank you for everybody, family, friends, for all coming out here. It means the world to us. We spend all your other money to come out for us too. And it means the world. Yeah. Oh.